Hello, this is Tov from Trifo Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this Quick Tip, I'm going to show you how to effectively use uh, the free add-on camera Shakeify. Uh, now, I did this tutorial for the introduction to this add-on a while back. Um, but a subscriber asked me, uh, when those, is it, is it Beano's dudes? It says, how do you switch between camera movements like an investigation to bike on gravel? Um, so I'm going to just share this with everyone. Now, I'll leave a, uh, the download link in the description below this video so you can download Camerify yourselves and try it out. It's pretty good. And apparently it only works in Blender 2.93 only from what I've seen. And once you've installed it through the, you know, the usual uh, method, which is edit, preferences, navigate to where you've uh, downloaded it onto your system. Once this pound pops up, click on install, and you navigate to it and uh, install add-on, which I've already done that. So I'm going to cancel that, and then uh, let me type in Shakeify. This is Z, S H A, and you just put a check in the box there, and it activates it. And once that's been activated, uh, you have to click on the camera itself, because right now you, you're not on the camera. Uh, parameters you can't see the options there so click on the camera itself and you'll see a uh, new panel or new options pop up for camera shakeify this add-on right here and let's look at it through the camera view by pressing zero and we're going to click on this plus sign to add a preset for uh, camera fi or camera shakeify and let's kind of choose like extreme preset so you can see the difference in them let's click on that and from this pop-up menu, you, you'll see, let's, let's choose bike on gravel like uh, Bino's dudes recommended. Click on that. And let's see how this looks. It's a lot of shaking because when you've got your camera, <coughs> excuse me, and you're on your bike on a gravel road, it's pretty rocky, so you'll get that effect. So that works out pretty good. And you can add another camera preset. And let's switch that to, let me see, uh, the close-up. Let's click on that, see how that looks. Now you can see that it doesn't really look all that different. But what you have to do, well, let's delete this so you can see what the close up looks like. Let's delete that one. Stick with close up and press play. You can see close up is slower. That's one thing with the Shakeify add on. Um, the top or the first uh, preset that you add pretty much overrides all the rest. So in order for you to see the options for it, you have to do, test it out one at a time. Uh, but you if you have more than one preset that you want to add to your camera movement, um, this is how you can do it. Let's press plus again, change it to bike on gravel, which was shaky. Add another plus, click on uh, that option one more time, and let's click on the close up, which is slower, so you can see the difference. Now, what you're going to have to do to see the changes between bike on gravel 2d which is shaky and the close-up which is a lot more of a calmer smoother movement of the camera so let's click on bike on gravel first and you're going to add keyframes in order to add keyframes you have to activate the manual timing so you have to put a check in that box and then you click on this little button here this little dot is going to turn into a diamond which signifies that you're going to add keyframes to your timeline down here so i'm going to click on this and you say keyframe here. That's the first keyframe. And you also have to activate the timing. So we're going to put this at zero, leave it at zero. And we're going to click on that to create a keyframe here. Let's move down to 60. And we're going to put another keyframe. I don't know why I have to put the keyframe here, but that's how the add on works. Put a keyframe in manual time again. As you can see the keyframe appears here. And here we're going to bump this up to like maybe 20. Let's make it, uh, I don't know, let's make it 50 instead. 50, enter, and click on that uh, empty diamond shape to fill it in to make, put another keyframe. We're going to move this down to 80. Then we're going to go to our close up, do this exact same thing manual timing, put a checkbox in that. Turn this dot into a diamond by clicking on that dot. 
So we got a keyframe here. Same thing with timing. Put a dot, um, click that dot to turn it into a diamond. So we have another keyframe. Let's move down to 140. And we're going to do the same process. Click on this diamond to fill it in, put a keyframe. Do the same thing with this, but let's bump this up from zero to, I don't know, let's make it 30. Enter another keyframe. And let's see how this looks now. Let's go back to the beginning and press play shaky down to slow and smooth so that's how you can add or use multiple camera presets and shakeify on your timeline to get different results or different looking camera moves on the timeline and that's today's blender quick tip and once again thank you guys who have who are subscribing now those of you who have subscribed in the past and those of you who will subscribe in the future and I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.